What's going on everybody? This is Paradise Cities. Today I am bringing you a review on three capture cards. The best of the HD capture cards for Xbox and PS3, which is Hop Hog HD PVR versus the Blackmagic Intensity Pro versus the Blackmagic Intensity Shuttle, which just came out. Um, the point of this review is hopefully I could point out some stuff so that you could that can assist in you choosing which one because there's always debate on which one should I get and which one's better. Um, I'm just gonna start off from the bottom which is the HD PVR. Uh, some, the HD PVR is a really good step uh, if you're just stepping into uh, capturing HD footage from your Xbox however it is using component cables there is no HDMI and HDMI is better than component. There's gonna, I know there's gonna be some comments saying there's no difference, this and that. But behind the scenes, HDMI is better than component. HDMI is digital. Component is still analog, and we're all, you know, we everybody knows we're all trying to move away from analog, and pretty much components maxed out. So HDMI, you know, they're still coming out. There was, um and they're still expanding on it and to tell you the truth they're they might be moving away from HDMI and going to straight Ethernet cable but that's for a few years later um, the HD PVR it's basically what you have what you get in the box is you know it works right out the box there's no extra um, uh, there's no extra things needed well, maybe you have to probably buy like the component cables, but that's about it. You don't have to upgrade your computer. Your computer doesn't have to be the best of the best in order to capture footage because the the box uh, that the, uh, the HD PVR is a box, and basically that box um, does all the encoding for you and just transfers to your computer. Now, I never had an HD PVR before, so. I believe it comes with a power cable so that you can play without your computer being on but do um like I said it's I I'm not 100% sure um the best quality from the HD PVR is 1080i uh like you can see right here resolu resolutions up to 1080i and so you know if anybody said oh I got 1080p on my HD PVR you know that's not true um, so moving on, which is the Blackmagic Intensity Pro, which is this little um, card right here. Uh, this white one is the new shuttle. So basically the Intensity Pro is HDMI. Um, it is an internal card, only works with desktop computers. It does work with Mac, so that's another thing. but. I get questions that does it work with laptop. No, this card does not work with laptop. It does capture 1080p. However, the Xbox put out 1080p at 60 frames per second. Um, with the Intensity Pro, the highest they have is 1080p at 30 frames per second, I believe. Um, another thing is you have to have a very fast hard drive. If you only try to record to your main hard drive that you're not going to be able to record because you're going to get drop frames and it's, it's going to be really laggy so with this the intensity pro you have to upgrade your computer a little bit you know you have quad core processor would be nice um, but the main deal is the hard drive issues which a lot of people have I actually went out and bought three SATA hard drives and put it into a RAID 0 configuration which is recommended um, anywhere between two and four of that and put in the RAID uh, configuration is recommended um, if you could do better you can get an SSD and that would be a lot helpful um, this process is like 99.9 percent .9 for sure a lot of people say oh I can record to my main hard drive I only heard that sparingly it's not everybody um, I don't know why you can but you know if you can that's good for you 
Uh, so that's that's the only issues with the Intensity Pro and that being an internal. So if you buy a splitter, then you could play with your computer off. However, if you don't buy a splitter, then you have to have your computer on and the program up in order for it to show on your screen. So moving on, the new Intensity Shuttle. This is the newest card that just came out. Um, I had it on order since June, and I just received it. Uh, a few days ago and I finally got it set up um, the issue with this is it, you have to have one of the latest motherboards either the X58 P55 and you have to have USB 3.0 it will not work with 2.0 oh this is an external card so it can you know it's for desktop of course in the future they are exp gonna be expanding to laptops right now I believe there's nobody that uh, there's no laptop that it works with. Um, if your motherboard doesn't sub or doesn't come with USB 3.0, you can buy an external USB 3.0 card. However, you have to make sure it's PCI Express at least uh, the four speed because there's a lot of the um, one speed and it doesn't work. And a lot of people are having issues. And I'll I'll put a link into one that I would recommend. It's about thirty bucks, real cheap, but it works great with this card. I have mine up and running at seven twenty. I'm capturing seven twenty p, and again, it has ability to do ten eighty p. But Xbox and this card is not compatible at the moment. They did say that they will be expanding for the Xbox ten eighty p at sixty frames per second. However with USB 3.0 being so new uh, the technology hasn't been utilized to the fullest so that they are limited so that's why they don't have it right now this card's really great the quality is really great I've posted two videos already and you can check out those to see the quality um, so comparing the Intensity Pro Shuttle versus the Hawpog HD PBR I would say Either one of the intensities is much better, being it's HDMI. Another thing, um, the Hopog HD PVR is everything you have recorded is already encoded and compressed. In the Intensity Pro, Intensity Shuttle, you have the ability to record compressed or uncompressed. And uncompressed is, you know, the quality is extremely amazing. Even compressed is a lot better than the Hopog HD PVR. Um, hopefully this review can help you decide on which ones to pick. I know there's going to be a lot of comments saying components better than HDMI and this and that or the hot pockets a better. There's no difference in quality. Um, well, on YouTube that is partly true. There's You can see there's minimal difference but that's because YouTube re-encodes the video when you upload however if you're looking from the raw file there's a huge difference between the Blackmagic cards versus the Hawpaw card so um, everything I'm gonna list it in the description I'm gonna give a few links and uh, if you have any questions just leave in a comment or send me a private message and I'll be glad to help you um, but again, hopefully this will help you or this helped you out in deciding. Um, but in my opinion, I recommend one of the Black Magic if you can afford it. If you just want something simple straight out of the box that works immediately, go for the Hop Hog HD PVR.